the difference between this and this and the difference between this and this is experience. Experiences create neural circuitry. I'm Kelly Rhodes with Body and Behavior Institute. Imagine you just walked out of the store where you purchased a bar of soap. You take the wrapper off to reveal a smooth, unmarked surface. If you wet your finger and run it across the soap, you can guide it in any pattern you desire. But the more times you run your wet finger down the same groove in the soap, the deeper that groove gets. If you continue running your wet finger down the same groove, there will come a point when this groove is so deep that you can put your wet finger anywhere on this soap and it slips into that deep groove and runs across the soap. Neural circuitry works similarly. Experiences are what create and run grooves. The more times you experience an event, the stronger that neural circuitry becomes and the more difficult it is to shift out of it. Some grooves are shallow, like this. Shallow grooves are new or rarely used neural circuitry that's not been run often. Some grooves are deep, like this. When I say deep grooves, I'm talking about neural circuitry that has been run many times or that is the result of a single very intense experience. If we have two boys standing next to each other on the playground and one ball comes bounding across the grass and hits them both in the shin at the same moment, the boy who has experienced predictable safety and acceptance and developed correlative neural circuitry says, hey, that's an invitation to play ball. The boy who has not experienced predictable safety and acceptance says, hey, that's an attack against me. Each run off in totally different directions. One to play ball, strengthening his neural circuitry for acceptance, willingness, and play increasing the flow of neurochemicals like serotonin, and one to enlist the defensive aid of an adult, strengthening his neural circuitry for fear and defensiveness, victim, outcast, bullied, picked on. Decreasing the flow of neurochemicals like serotonin, increasing the flow of cortisol and adrenaline, which boy do you suppose is more likely to eventually be referred to a youth treatment program? Most youth in treatment have deep grooves for unpredictable survival resources, food, safety, safe shelter, housing, or survival partners. If a groove has been run really often and is very deep, it can feel like Every conversation is happening from inside of this groove. Youth Corrections often identifies youth with deep grooves as treatment resistant. Because as a field, we don't know and don't teach each other how to change deep grooves. Once you learn how to work with rather than against biology, you can change deep grooves the same way they're made through experiences. Neural circuitry is constantly updated based on our most current and consistent survival information, which means when our experiences change, our most current and consistent survival information changes. And eventually, our neural circuitry changes as well. This updating is brain plasticity. Choreographing experiences of survival resource predictability is an excellent place to start regrooving youth in treatment with experiences that match their mainstream peers. You want to be sure not to declaw the cat. We don't want to regroove youth for mainstream emotions and behaviors and send them to a neighborhood where they need those 
original deep grooves. As you begin to put this science into practice, remember that deep grooves are deep for a reason. The consistent experiences and length of time that may be needed to regroove this use neural circuitry will probably be proportionate to the time it took to establish those grooves in the first place. A basic knowledge of neural circuitry and brain plasticity can help you design a treatment program that works with your youth's biology and can help youth establish long-lasting change. Some of the best minds around the world spend their lives researching neural circuitry because it so significantly impacts human emotions and behaviors. Here's a few of my favorite neural circuitry researchers. Bruce McEwen, Katarina Braun, Jorg Bach, these two work together, Simon Gandavia, uh, Nadine Provencal, Sophie Ball, Christine Heim, Charles Nemiroff, those two work together. These are just a few. I've placed uh, links to their research in the description along with suggested reading on neural circuitry. If you'd like to learn more, here are a couple of videos you can check out. I'm Kelly with Body and Behavior Institute. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe. See you next time.